tonight's video is sponsored by Evan Williams Apple. Evan Williams Apple is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey blended with delicious apple liqueur. Evan Williams Apple blends bright, crisp green apple with rich, smooth Kentucky bourbon for a taste that is perfectly balanced and ripe for any occasion. The apple liqueur calms down the whiskey just enough that I love having it on the rocks, straight, or even with a little twist of lemon. It has tasting notes of fresh, juicy apple with hints of caramel and light spice. Its nose and finish are crisp green apple followed by smooth bourbon. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that Evan Williams apple goes with pretty much any mixer, whether it's sour lemon or a more sweet fruit medley. One of my favorite cocktails with it, which is also super easy to make, is an apple mule, which has two ounces of Evan Williams apple, ginger beer, and a splash of lime. So it's just a really versatile whiskey, but it's also really versatile for occasions as well. So whether that's hanging out with friends or tailgating, I actually just went camping and I had it around a fire pit and it was perfect. It's the perfect drink to enjoy with friends in a ton of ways. It's great straight, chilled on the rocks, as a chilled shot, with a little kick in an apple meal, and so much more. Evan Williams Apple is a classic combination with a satisfying finish. Any way you slice it. So thank you Evan Williams so much for sponsoring tonight's video, and let's get right to it. Hi! I'm so glad to see you. Thank you for coming over. I know you had a really long week, right? Okay, well you'll have to tell me all about it. I was thinking tonight we could just make some drinks and chit-chat, relax, stay in. Okay, perfect. So, I actually went out and bought like a bunch of fun ingredients to make some cocktails. Does that sound good? Perfect. I also have um, some stuff to make a mocktail. Do you know what a mocktail is? Yeah, just like an alcohol-free fun drink. Um, so we don't get like dehydrated or whatever. <laughs> so let's maybe start with a cran apple spritz. Do you know? It's like a cranberry apple drink. It's really good and it's really easy to make. Okay, so I'm gonna make that for you. Um, why don't you have a seat and tell me a bit about your week? I know you texted me a little bit, but from what you were saying, that's <laughs> that's a lot to deal with. I just got off work. Um, I had a pretty good week, so I feel bad, so I want to take care of you <laughs> a little bit, if that's okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, let me get started making that drink for you. Okay, so I'm just going to put some Evan Williams apple. This is really good whiskey I've been obsessed with lately. So, one, so one and a half. I'm definitely not a professional at this, but and then we're gonna add a little bit of cranberry juice, just about half an ounce. Oh, it's such a pretty color, huh? So while I'm making this, why don't you tell me a little bit about your day? Okay. Then just a splash of this. Oh, that's really hard. I'm sorry to hear that.
Is there anything I can do to help? And just a splash of lime. I'm gonna stir it. Yeah, this one's for you. Also got us cinnamon sticks, so I'm gonna put this in. Okay, so your first drink is ready. Here you go. Tell me how you like it. Oh, it's good. Yay! I've actually been practicing my bartending skills a bit. Um, I'm not really all that good at making drinks, but. You know, if you kind of have the right ingredients, basically I can make from a recipe perfectly fine, but when it comes to kind of like knowing what flavors go with other flavors, I'm still learning a lot about that. It's only actually recently that I started um, drinking hard liquor. Um, in the past, I used to always just drink wine and beer, um, especially when I was in college and stuff, because hard liquor was like the expensive stuff. <laughs> um, but now that I'm an adult, we're adults, I've been having a lot of fun kind of learning. You know, there's so much to learn about um, liquor. And it's kind of this whole ancient, really interesting part of our culture. So I've been like going out of my way to try different like cognacs and just drinks that I've never tried before. So that's been fun. Um, so these drinks that I'll be making for you, hopefully they'll be like, perfect. But back to your week. So it's like been mainly an issue at work or? Okay. Like coworkers or a boss. Oh, yeah. If you have a bad boss, like no matter how good your working environment is or how good your coworkers or the work you're doing. It's like if you have a bad boss, it ruins everything. Do you think you're going to try to find a new job anytime soon? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's hard, but I heard that right now there's like an employee shortage, so maybe you'll have a lot of luck if you decide to like apply for things. Yeah, my policy is, um, if you're not really wanting to leave your current job, only apply for jobs that, like, really are really special to you, you know? Yeah. Okay. What's going on with me? Um, that's so sweet of you to ask. Nothing really interesting is going on with me. Um, well, I'm going to move soon. Um, so we're in my apartment right now, but I think I'm moving to a house. Yeah. Yeah, like in the, like the north part. Yeah. Um, we found it for a really good price, because like rent and everything is like really spiking right now, but we found something for a really good deal. So our lease isn't finished here yet, but like it's too good of an opportunity to miss, so we're just going to move. And it has a yard. Yeah. It has a yard and we were thinking, well, mainly me, I think I want to get a dog. Did you know I've never had my own dog? Yeah. Like, my family's had dogs. Um, but the dogs have always been mainly my mom's, which is kind of weird. I think that's uncommon. Like, normally the kids get a puppy, but my mom was always getting puppies for herself. <laughs> um, and so I've never really had like a dog that's my own. And so I was thinking of getting a dog. Do you think I'm responsible enough? Okay, <laughs> don't answer that. No, but I'll probably get a mutt from like the pound. 
Do you have like a breed recommendation? I know you like dogs. So I'm looking for one that I can go hiking with, one that is not aggressive, one that's not um, like too barky. Can you, can you like find that in a dog breed? I don't even know. Like are certain dog breeds bark, like yappier than others? I'm sure, I'm sure they are. But just like kind of a quiet dog, but like big and strong, not too big. <laughs> I'm kind of being, you know, I don't really know what I want yet, you know? Just like a sweet mid-sized mutt who is, I feel safe around, you know? Because honestly, I'm a cat person, and so the idea of like a big dog who's kind of like hard to control kind of scares me a little. I'm used to like little cats, you know? But anyways, are you enjoying your drink still? Perfect. Okay. I'm thinking, well, up to you, but I was thinking I could make one more drink um, and then the mocktail to kind of like rehydrate and sober up. Perfect. We could also like watch a movie or you want to just keep chatting? Sure. At any point, if I'm talking too much about myself, though, you should let me know so that we can, like, I mean, like, you're the one who had <laughs> that really hard week. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, you know, when people tell you, like, oh, it'll be better next week, it's like, okay, I know, but I just want to vent. I just want to, like, have someone to talk to, so I want to be that person for you. So, at any point, just, like, interrupt me, tell me about your week. And we can, if you want, maybe brainstorm how to handle certain things with your boss or anything else. Okay? Okay. You want me to tell you a little bit more what's going on with me? Sure. I get that. Like a distraction, right? Um, what else is going on with me? So we're moving. Um, so these apples that I have here. Where I got them from. I went apple picking at an apple orchard. Orchard. <laughs> I've never gone apple picking in my life. Um, it was so sweet. It's like the cutest fall activity. I went with some friends and what you do is you get a basket and you're allowed to fill it up and then you get to keep all the apples isn't that cool so I picked a bunch of granny apples granny smith apples they're just so like crisp and tart they're my favorite apple all my other friends got red apples, but I was like, show me where the Granny Smith are. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of apple? Oh, okay, those are good too. I just, they have to be very crisp and have to be very like, not mushy or sandy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like those red delicious apples. They are not delicious. They taste like sand. I don't know why anybody keeps buying them. In college, my dorm actually had an apple tasting fair, which is like the weirdest thing in the world now that I think about it, but I actually really enjoyed it because, um, you know, when you go to a grocery store and you see like a thousand apples and you're like, I'm not really sure what that one tastes like or what that one tastes like. Well, basically my university let us try 20 different apples and so now I know exactly what kind of apples I like because as I went around and tried slices from every single apple, I kind of like kept a mental note. Okay, so 
so I've been talking a lot. Um, are you ready for your next drink? I see that you finished that one. Okay, so I was thinking I could make an apple sidecar, which is like kind of my own invention, um, but it's basically a sidecar cocktail, but with apple and like a little bit simpler. Okay, so let me make that sidecar. So I have a shaker with some ice in it. So I'm going to add two ounces of apple juice as I spill everything everywhere. <laughs> of this apple whiskey. It's so good, right? Here, let's move this. And then we're going to add a half ounce of orange liqueur. So pretty much almost a splash, but not quite. It'll give it that, you know, unique sidecar flavor. And then just a splash of lemon. So let me cut this lemon. Just a splash of lemon. Oh, this is going to be so good, I can tell. And then I'm going to shake it. Do you ever shake your own cocktails? Hold as soon as you shake it. So I'm going to pour it into this glass here. So the fun thing about this cocktail is that you put a little apple wheel as a garnish. So let's cut that. So look at this. Isn't that pretty? I don't want to spill it, but I think it looks so nice with the little apple wheel. So this is for you. So while you taste that, actually, let me know how you like it first, because I can add like more. It's good. Okay, perfect. So, where was I? Um... Let's see. I did have one stressful thing happen to me this week. Um, my cat is acting like a little weird. Um, I think he senses that we're about to move. So he's just been like hiding everywhere and not really acting normal. But I read that cats um, are really sensitive to change. And so I think he's just nervous about the move. He's really old. Do you remember Sylvester? You've met him a few times. Yeah, he's my baby. I've had him for 13 years. Yeah. Um, so he's old and the older cats get, like, the more stressed they get about change. So I 
think he sees all our suitcases and he's like, something's about to go down and I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm a really empathetic person um, where I get extremely stressed if other, not only people, but like animals are stressed. It really stresses me out. So I just feel so bad for him. I'm trying to like keep a cozy dark area for him to hide in our closet, but other than that, yeah, nothing really is going on. You want to tell me, you want to talk any more about what's going on with you? Yeah, just stress. You know, I've been recently really trying to be better about mindfulness and meditation, so I've been trying to meditate more often, and I know that sounds like kind of hippie, but there's a lot of really cool stuff, like a lot of cool science behind meditation, so I've been trying to meditate more, and I think it basically trains your brain to be able to be present and calm when you feel stressed or anxious. So, I don't know, maybe that might help if you try to meditate, I know that's such a funny thing to recommend, but other than that, you know, anytime you feel stressed, just call me, okay? Talking about it helps so much, I think. Yeah, I'm always happy to hear from you. So don't ever feel like you're a burden or anything like that, okay? I'm actually so excited you're here hanging out with me tonight. I was like telling my partner, like, oh, I'm so glad they're coming over because I just love talking with you so much. Okay, well, enough of that. I think I'm going to start making the mocktail because I have a really tasty recipe for it. Okay. Okay, so I know you're still working on your cocktail, but I'm going to just start this one. It's going to be a grapefruit um, basil ginger type drink. Ah. Uh, so good. Like I said, it's a mocktail, so it doesn't have any alcohol in it, but I have some grapefruit, so it's basically just a little bit of grapefruit juice. Watch me make a total mess of this. some basil. Do you like basil? Okay, I feel like we've known each other long enough that I know what you don't like, so let's see. Just kind of a little bit of basil, maybe a pretty part here. pretty. And then I made some basil syrup, which I will pour just a little in. Because grapefruit's pretty sour, so. And then stir. That looks pretty good, right? So, do you want this one now, or 
Okay, I'll make yours in just a second as you finish your drink. I'm gonna go ahead and have this one. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> okay, so do you feel like I just really hope your next week is better. I know when you have a difficult week, it like makes you so pessimistic about the upcoming week, but I really think that it's going to be better. And I'm not just saying that, you know, you had such a rough week that I think just like statistically next week will be better. And I'll definitely be keeping you in my thoughts. Once again, you can like text me or call me whenever you want. Okay, great. Well, once you finish with that, I will make you a mocktail, and then how about we go watch a movie or something? Maybe a TV show. I've heard a lot of good things about Squid Game. Have you heard of that? It's like the new phenomenon. Um, it's a Korean show. It just makes me think about how 10 years ago, a lot of people were never exposed to media from different cultures. Like, they wouldn't watch shows with subtitles and stuff. But anyways, it's cool how, you know, you can go on the internet and just, like, watch. I'm totally ranting. Ignore me. But do you want to check that out? Okay. Perfect. And once again, I just want to say thank you for coming over. It's always so nice to see you.